Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you guys here. In today's video, I want to share my thoughts on a fragrance from Paris Corner that got a lot of popularity and I received myself a lot of questions about this fragrance. The fragrance is called Bain El Asrar. I hope this is how you pronounce the fragrance. Uh, and this is supposed to be a dupe to Guidance from Amouage. Now, I haven't smelled Guidance from Amouage, so I cannot compare the two, unfortunately, but I will judge this as a standalone fragrance and I will let you know how it smells like, how it develops, how it performs, who I feel like would enjoy it, if I enjoy it myself. But yeah, I will give you all the details about this fragrance in a second. Before I start, I would love to hear your thoughts on this fragrance. Um, I know. It can be quite a polarizing fragrance, either I love love or hate type of fragrance, let's just say. So I'm, I know some might love it, some might hate it, um, but this for sure is a fragrance with a very strong character, you know, it's an acquired taste, I would say. It's not the kind of fragrance that if you don't know what to wear, this is the kind of fragrance, you know, that like easy reach grab and go, even though it could be someone's easy reach grab and go fragrance, but let's just say that person needs to have a specific taste when it comes to fragrances. So let me show you the presentation of this fragrance because the presentation is so, so, so beautiful. And then I will tell you how the fragrance smells like. Now you saw the beautiful presentation for this fragrance. They really went out of the way, in a sense, to create to create a story about this fragrance, you know, not just to market this one as an inspiration and that's just about it. They actually really put a lot of effort, I feel like, into the storyline, into everything, even the video, like the, the video they shot for the campaign, you know, it's like with a woman walk, walking in the desert. Yeah. Very beautiful presentation, very eye-catching as well. And let me just say, I love how the bottle looks. I know this is more like a superficial detail, but I love how the bottle looks. It looks so dainty, so pretty, feels quite heavy. And this actually makes it feel much more expensive than its price. Let me cut the ramble, you guys. Let me tell you how this fragrance smells like, because that's why you are here. Now, I will spray this fragrance on my skin. So let's see. So the opening is not the best part, I will be very honest. The opening is a little bit bitter, very spicy, but how to describe it? So basically in the opening, you have a very dense, creamy almost, a vanillic pear combo, but in a sense, it feels a little bit suffocated by the overtones, by the other chords that it has on top of it. I detect in the opening a blast of nutmeg. If you have ever smelled nutmeg, not like powdered nutmeg or like nutmeg essential oil, you will get the nutmeg here for sure. Um, to my nose, the nutmeg does lean a little bit essential oil-esque in a sense that it feels a little bit sharp in the opening. It definitely feels like it hits your nose a little bit. It's not the most smooth opening, you know, but this fragrance in the heart and in the dry down, that's where it really shines to my nose and in my opinion. So the opening, yeah, it is how it is, you know. I get the nutmeg and then I get a very interesting, almost like a green freshness on top of that spicy nutmeg, you know. So even though you do have the sweet pear vanillic combo, but let's just say this combo only gets a chance to shine from the heart and from the heart up until the dry down. But in the opening, like I've mentioned, it feels a little bit suffocated by the nutmeg. And by that fresh green almost overtone to the scent, I'm not really sure what it is, but I smell it a lot. 
yeah, but luckily, you guys, as this fragrance stays on your skin, it evolves in such a beautiful way. Now, before I tell you how this fragrance smells like in the heart and how it evolves, let me just tell you something. So I received this fragrance from Dubai Collection a month and a half ago, perhaps close to two months by now. Let me think. Or maybe just like a month, a month and a half ago. I'm not, I'm not really good with time, okay? So yeah, uh, first few times I've tried it. The opening, like I told you, it is how it is, you know, it's not the best part. But then 10 minutes in, out of nowhere, on my skin, I started to detect an accord that legit smelled like sour milk. Smelled like sour milk, you guys. Now that accord, luckily on my skin, it didn't last for a very long time. Let's just say for all in all around six minutes and then it would tone down completely, like it would fade away. Uh, but I was a little bit like, you know, in all honesty, I was a little bit scared to wear it outside because I was like, what if I don't smell that sour milk accord after, but I, I overspray this fragrance, I do like 15 sprays of this fragrance, I go out and then I smell like sour milk, you know, in my mind, I don't know why I had this like fear to wear this fragrance out, but this fragrance needs to sit. Believe me, this fragrance needs to sit because having it for almost, let's just say a month, a month and a half, I don't know, I will add here on the screen as a reference. I will check to see when I receive the parcel from them because that day I've tested the fragrance and since then I have started to test this fragrance, you know, to form an opinion. And it's safe to say I definitely took my sweet time with this fragrance and I would recommend you to do the same. Start with the sample, start with a decant first of all, but even if you start with a sample or even if you decide to start with a decant, definitely give this fragrance time. To my nose, this is more of a non-usual fragrance. This is a more creative, artistic, a little bit of a weird fragrance, but again, not weird in a bad way. It's just a little bit more weird, you know? It's a bit more abstract. It, let's just say it takes you through a journey in a way. It's not the kind of fragrance that smells like, um, look, for instance, devotion, you know? That fragrance legit, Pretty much everyone could wear it, everyone could enjoy it. This is an acquired taste for sure. So because of this, definitely start with a sample, definitely start with a decant. If you are based in the European Union, in USA, UK or Switzerland, you can shop this fragrance on the Buy Collection. They have decants of all their fragrances. But what I wanted to emphasize is that even if you decide to start with a sample or start with a decant, please make sure you give this fragrance a time. Uh, like I told you, I've had this fragrance for around, let's just say a month and a half, okay? Could be a little bit less, a little bit more, I'm not really sure. But the way this fragrance has evolved in this time and the way the scent profile has morphed into something completely different, it's unbelievable, honestly, it's unbelievable. I cannot tell you why this is happening. I can only tell you that this is what has happened with the fragrance in my case. And maybe in your case as well, who knows, but definitely give this fragrance time, you guys. Now, after, let's just say again, a month and a half, I don't get that sour milk facet at all, at all, at all, at all. Not even a little bit, like a single trace of it, nothing. It's like it was never there, but it was there. Now, let me tell you how this fragrance smells like in the heart once it gets a chance to sit a little bit. So in the heart and in the dry down is where the beauty of this fragrance comes to life. That nutmeg that in the opening felt a little bit essential oil-esque, let's just say, you know, uh, it felt a little bit sharp, not very unpleasant, but unless you love the smell of nutmeg, you might struggle a little bit with the opening. That fresh green overtone faded away completely and that nutmeg that felt a little bit essential oil-esque, like I told you, now is just in the background, adding the most gentle and subtle spicy accent to the fragrance, but it doesn't take the shine away from the gourmolining accord. Now, to me, in the heart, I detect the smell of pear. You know that smell of the water from the pear compote, so it's not the actual fruit itself, it's just the water that's like sweet, but at the same time pear-like, you know? This is how the pear accord is done to me. It's not a caramelized pear accord like you have in, um, I want to say devotion, it's not devotion, in La Belle or La Belle Parfum or even in Terriac by La Tafa. It's not that type of pear accord. So it's not that caramelized, warm, full-bodied pear. To me, the pear feels like the, the water from the pear compote, you know? But it doesn't feel thin and aquatic because it has a lot of richness that supports this pear accord. I also start to detect a gorgeous 
rich full-bodied creamy vanilla that not only adds a lot of roundness and richness to the fragrance but it also adds sweetness to the fragrance so you have this pear-like sweetness with this beautiful vanilla like sweetness and then in the background I also detect a very pronounced nutty undertone. Now the nutty quality from time to time can feel a little bit bitter but like bitter and sweet you know this is how I would describe the nutty accord it's not it's not like almonds it's not the kind of nutty facet that comes from an almond accord but it's neither that nutty facet that comes from a tonka bean. Again I was speaking to someone about this fragrance and she told me she smells walnut in this fragrance like when you peel a walnut and you're left with the um, yeah like you peel a walnut you got my point and you're left with the walnut that's peeled she told me this is how the fragrance this is how the nutty accord smells like to her and I have to agree you guys I genuinely have to agree like if you have smelled like when you are a kid you know you would like crush walnuts to eat them but the um, the peel around them was very bitter so you would just like peel it off and you would eat just what's inside that peel you know this is how the nutty accord smells here but in a sense imagine it much richer almost like a walnut gem if you have ever smelled a walnut gem i guess la resemblance is to that same profile let's just say so it's safe to say this fragrance is very sweet it's sweet from the pear it's sweet from the vanilla it's sweet from the walnut but sweet a nutty sweetness with a bitter facet to the nutty accord if you could picture what i mean and all in all the fragrance feels extremely rich extremely dense very warm very complex definitely is not a linear fragrance it goes through a development for sure this is a beautiful fragrance this is such a beautiful fragrance such a creative fragrance such a weird fragrance even is not the kind of fragrance again that is everyone's cup of tea is the kind of fragrance that stands out if you wear something like this and you go anywhere let's just say most likely nobody else will smell like you uh, but I do think this is the kind of fragrance that again it's either I love either hate but do give do give it time to be able to form a proper opinion on this fragrance you need to give it time at least I had to give it plenty of time to be able to come here and to tell you what I am smelling in this fragrance because for so many, for such a long time, I kept smelling this fragrance and smelling and smelling and smelling and I was like, how could I describe this fragrance? Like, what am I smelling here? Because if I say that it's a pair with vanilla and a nutty accord, it, it doesn't do justice because in the opening it smells one way, in the heart it morphs into something completely different and then in the dry down, pretty similar with the heart but let's just say as it develops more and more you have different accents that start to shine as well yeah also i know this has listed the resinous accord i i think if i remember correctly this has listed olibanum i can't see that i smell a resinous facet per se uh but this feels rich in a resinous like ambery way but it doesn't smell ambery per se like an amber accord and it doesn't smell resinous per se like i don't know like benzoin like olibanum like everything like this you know it's just the structure the composition of the fragrance that feels very rich and full-bodied but to me the trio that shines the most is definitely the vanilla with the pear and with that nutty facet maybe i know it has listed hazelnut I don't know if I smell hazelnut honestly but when I think of hazelnut I associate hazelnut with the smell of Nutella in a way but walnut like walnut jam if you have smelled walnut jam if you have ever eaten walnut jam and if you know how walnuts smell like when you peel them so it's like bitter and nutty but a little bit more sweet you know this is why I'm like a walnut jam in my mind this smells kind of like this but still with all this i feel like no matter how much i try to describe you how this regular smells like you need to test it you need to test it because see as i'm smelling it now i also i don't know why out of nowhere i smell a very beautiful but very subtle at the same time velvety rose accord in the background not a rose that feels dark that feels mysterious that feels pretty green nothing like this just think velvety pink rose petals I get something like that as well in this fragrance so it's safe to say this fragrance will take you on a journey like I've mentioned I feel like for the 20th time by now but you do need to give it time if it's not something you enjoy it's not something you enjoy that's okay but if you try this fragrance keep this aspect in mind if you get that sour milk aspect on your skin give this fragrance time uh, in my case it has faded away completely and I'm very happy because I was a little bit scared I'm not gonna lie I was like what if it never fades away like do i have the balls you know to wear something like this that smells like sour milk 
at a certain point as it develops out in the street because you know i don't mind the milk accord but who wants to smell like sour milk you know not me for sure <laughs> yeah so this is how this fragrance smells like this is how it evolves um i told you the nose that shine the most to my nose now let me tell you a little bit about the energy that this fragrance gives me so different for sure see because i have just sprayed this fragrance for the review here i get the nutmeg but here on my skin here i get the pear here i get the nutty quality starts to shine so much you guys i'd say to my nose let's just say 25 30 minutes in it's the nutty accord that dominates this fragrance right behind it is the vanilla with the pear and you do get slight accents of something spicy from the nutmeg and something rosy but like a very velvety smooth kind of rose accord but again it's just a slight facet there you know yeah now the energy of this fragrance it's bold it's bold you need to have the confidence to wear something like this it's different it's unique i say it's even a little bit more artistic because of this sweet and bitter quality that it has again i detect it you might not detect it i don't know i feel like this is the kind of fragrance that if you ask 10 people how does this fragrance smell like to them you will get 10 different answers because this is not a very simplistic composition you know that smells like a rose in a garden on a sunday morning as you're drinking your tea i don't know or like a coffee fragrance or like um a very straightforward fragrance you know that you have smelled here and there plenty of times this smells so unique that i feel like everyone will describe it in such a different way this is why you need to test it if you had this fragrance on your to dry list let's just say start with a sample start with a decant if you have tried it let me know what you think about this fragrance and let me know how does this fragrance smell like to you because again i genuinely feel like this fragrance will smell very different uh depends on on who on whom depends on what type of person you ask so back to the energy because i keep getting sidetracked so to me different bold statement with a sensuality it has definitely a beautiful sensual undertone about it it's very feminine but it's a very edgy type of feminine again it's not that very pretty dainty cute style of fragrance you know it's a fragrance that even though it embodies a beautiful feminine sensual energy but it has this edgy facet about it it has this quality that makes it stand out it has this quality that makes it very unapologetic in a way not in the sense that it feels very challenging there smells very like a rose and oud for instance that it smells i don't know funky or skanky or i don't know indolic for instance like how some floral chords are but it has this very unapologetic quality about it yeah but it has a sensuality about it i cannot pinpoint what is the where is the sensuality coming from and also it has a very addicting quality first time you smell it you might think to yourself like what the hell am i smelling here second time you smell it you might think that to yourself as well but then you crave to smell it it's so interesting because i have this fragrance i go to my fragrance collection and i just crave to smell it and i crave to smell it and i crave to smell it so yeah i have worn it twice i've worn it once at home i did like a full wear test i've worn it once out now unfortunately i cannot give you feedback from other people because no one commented on this fragrance no one told me that i smell amazing but neither no one told me that i smell like sour milk so to me that's okay you know uh, but what i can tell you for sure this fragrance has a beautiful performance i don't know if you can see but this fragrance feels very oily at least look at the oil that's left on my skin it feels much more concentrated i'm not really sure what's the concentration of this fragrance i tried to look here but it's not written so i will try to look um on the box that it came with to tell you maybe you know what maybe i will add it to the presentation clip yeah i should note this in mind um but it's very concentrated so the fragrance lasts surprisingly so well on my skin it lasts more than six and a half hours you guys and a fragrance to last on my skin more than a six and a half hours considering that fragrances in general don't last that well on my skin definitely bonus point you know like check 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 now projection from what i have noticed wearing it myself again keep this aspect in mind i've only smelled it on myself but i'd say projection is medium it's not a soft fragrance meaning that it's a skin scent but it's neither a crazy projecting fragrance 
but again when I mean a crazy projecting fragrance I mean Arabian Stonka so again if you compare this fragrance to Arabian Stonka of course it's not as loud as Arabian Stonka but if you compare this fragrance to um, let me think a fragrance that uh, not this though for women it's definitely louder than that you know it's not as soft as that one is now let me touch a little bit on seasons versatility gender look because of how it smells I find it very feminine so in my mind when I smell this fragrance I automatically picture it on a woman if you're a man and you are curious about this fragrance you do your thing test it try for yourself if you love how it smells wear it rock it with confidence but if someone were to ask me does this fragrance lean feminine unisex or masculine I'd say definitely to my nose very feminine because of the sweetness and because of the accords that emanate sweetness you know the pear the vanilla that nutty accord you know all these accords are let's just say accords that together all together embody a beautiful sensual feminine energy with the twist that i've described it to you now versatility if you love it it's very versatile this could be an all year rounder you could wear it in summer you could wear it in autumn you could wear it in spring winter daytime i'd say mainly i would wear this fragrance during the daytime if I were to wear this fragrance during the night time, I don't know why in my mind I would feel the need to layer it with something. And I will also give you some layering suggestions at the end of the video. So make sure to stay until the end. But in my mind, I would wear this fragrance during the daytime and I have only worn this fragrance during the daytime. But luckily this fragrance lingers and lasts on clothes, it lasts for days, in your hair it lasts for days. Like if I were to apply this fragrance now in my hair, Let's just say um, I would finish this video, I would put my hair up in a bun or in a ponytail and tomorrow, the day after, more than like, let's just say 30 hours later, I would take my hair out from that ponytail or from that bun, I will still get whiffs of this fragrance. And same goes if you spray it on clothes, if you spray it on a jacket, if you spray it on a scarf, if you spray it on, I don't know, anything, a sweater, I don't know, the scent lingers for days. So the performance, again, bonus points for the performance um yeah let me think do i want to add anything else or do i want to move to the layering part you know what let's just move to the la layering guys i got braces on my bottom teeth as well and <laughs> i had to take a week break from filming because the pain you guys the pain i was in oh my god i could barely like it would hurt to speak you know let me talk about the layering combinations that I have tested with this fragrance. I have only four, so they are not a lot. Two body lotions, two fragrances. But let's start with the body lotions. Now, this fragrance, I've tried it layered with two body lotions. One is the very popular Bam Bam Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I'm sure most likely you either have it or perhaps you have an inspiration of it. I know there's an inspiration from... I will add the inspiration here on the screen because I had it as one in my collection. Uh, but now I have the OG Boom 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 Cream, Bam Bam Cream. They work so well layered together. If you want to amplify that sweetness even more, if you want to make that, let's just say, slightly of a bitter undertone, toned down. And if you want to amplify the vanilla, if you want to amplify the nutty facet, if you want to amplify the pear even more, layer this one with boom boom cream from sol de janeiro you will smell amazing this one for a date night amazing another body lotion that i love to use it layered with this fragrance is a body lotion from victoria's secret is the bare vanilla lux now maybe i should have brought them here but i forgot to bring them so i was speaking about bare vanilla lux now let me tell you how this fragrance smells like let me read you what it says here rich ma marshmallow rich marshmallow the vanilla cashmere an opulent take on bare vanilla now to me i'd say a sensual take on bare vanilla i don't know about opulent because i have a pretty different definition of what an opulent fragrance or what an opulent scent it is but this is definitely a very sensual take on bare vanilla they smell amazing together. They smell amazing together. So if you have Bear Vanilla Lux from Victoria's Secret and if you have Bain El Asrar, uh, from Paris Corner, layer the two. Use this one as a base, use the other one as a topper. You guys, the way it amplifies the vanilla and the sweetness that it gives to the fragrance, it makes it even more sensual. Let's just say it cuts a little bit from that very edgy and weird but again a good kind of weird i'm the type of person i like weird things i mean 
I can appreciate something that doesn't follow the norm. You know, I can appreciate, I can appreciate this in a person, in a product, in everything. A person that is not afraid to be different, a person that is not afraid to be themselves, even though being themselves means being a little bit more different compared to the majority of people. I don't know, I appreciate this aspect in, like I told you, people, products, everything. But if you wanted to make this fragrance feel a little bit more sensual and more wearable on a day-to-day -day basis, if you layer this one with bare vanilla lux, they smell amazing together. Yeah, amazing together, amazing. To me, this one amplifies the vanilla and the pear. And again, it adds a lot of sweetness. Hold on. It adds a lot of sweetness, uh, but a different style of sweetness uh, than uh, Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Boom Boom Cream adds a very nutty sweetness, you know? This one adds a beautiful vanilla-like -like sweetness to the fragrance. And almost a lactonic facet. I don't know why I get the lactonic accord, but yeah. Now, let me uh, highlight the other two fragrances that I have tried uh, in le different layering combinations with Bain El, Ast Bain El Astrar. The first fragrance, let me highlight Eclair from La Tafa. You guys, speaking of Eclair from La Tafa, I've worn this fragrance. I've worn it when I go to sleep. I wear it when I'm at home and I want something very cozy, very relaxing, more simplistic and nothing overly complicated. And I have to say, I do really like this fragrance a lot, a lot. I don't think it's worth the price. I see it at the moment going on online for. Yeah, I don't think the price is worth it, but... If you see it for a good price, definitely try it because it's a beautiful yet very simplistic fragrance. Now this, you guys, this will add a beautiful lactonic facet to Bain El Asrar and also it will make that nutty undertone a little bit more diverse, a little bit more complex. Here it's nutty, let's just say from, look, it's listed hazelnut accord, more like a walnut to me, like walnut gem. You know, like sweet and slightly bitter and nutty. And here the nutty accord in Eclair comes from the tonka bean. So it's a very different style of nutty accord. But these two together, they smell so beautiful together. Again, this is for a day-to-day, -day, very chic, very like you're on the go, but you want to feel very feminine with something a little bit sensual, but you want to make it a little bit more comforting. And all in all, easier to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, these two together. And another combo, that works very well layered. Another combo that works very well layered. Another fragrance that works very well layered uh, with Bain El Asrar from Paris Corner is Nebras by La Tafa, surprisingly. Now, it's arguable that these two fragrances could be like distant cousins, at least to my nose. Again, not necessarily scent-wise, even though they do share a very similar creamy accord, but here it's more like tonic, here it's more creamy vanillic in a way. But this smells like a muted subtle creamy vanilla accord with cocoa powder on top this is how it smells once let's just say the the top notes fade away like it gets a chance to stay on your skin i'm not really sure if i would apply this one on top of bain el asrar because bain el asrar being such a complex fragrance and going through such a again complex development for lack of a better word if you would just spray this fragrance on your skin and you would come with this fragrance as a topper Considering how this fragrance smells in the opening and considering the opening is not the best part of this fragrance, they might clash a little bit or they might crash. But if you were to apply these two fragrances on different parts of your body, in the air, they mix such a beautiful way. Amazing. Those were the layering combinations uh, that I wanted to highlight for this fragrance. If I will get, uh, let's just say, to explore layering this one with other fragrances maybe i will give you an update in the future on the fragrance and also i will mention in that video more layering suggestions why not because i know you love my layering suggestions and i love to explore different layering combinations with fragrances so it's like a win-win thank you so much for watching let me just close out the video and not make it very long thank you so much for watching you guys if you have tried bain and asra from paris corner please let me know your thoughts on the fragrance it's such a weird and creative and artistic and different fragrance and like i've mentioned i feel like everybody will describe this fragrance in a very different way so let me know how does it smell like to you 
I would love to hear your thoughts on the fragrance. And like I always say, not only that, I would love to hear your thoughts on the fragrance, but I'm sure everyone who's interested in trying out this fragrance could really use your feedback as well. So if you don't mind, please share your thoughts on Bain and Asrar in the comment section. Yeah, if you have any video ideas, if you want to tell me anything, again, please put it in the comment section and I promise that I will get back to you. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, because this way you will encourage me to create more content here on YouTube. I will see you in my next video, but until then, I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye, guys.